For years, artists have used LightWave to create 2D looking images using different cell shaders. And I thought we could take a look at uh, working with the node editor to create a cell shade type look. I'm going to start by heading over to the surface editor. And if we were to go over to the shaders tab, we'd see that there's BESM, which stands for big eyes, small mouth. There's um, super cell shader right here. There's also, if you, if you want, you can add the original cell shader. But I thought what we could do is skip the shaders and go straight into the node editor. I'm going to go ahead and activate the node editor, edit nodes. And I thought we could go about building a, uh, a node flow that would allow us to uh, give a cell shade look. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to the add node and pick constant and pick scalar and I'm going to copy that and paste it. Okay, By default the value is 1 which stands for 100%. It represents 100%. I'm going to plug that into luminosity. I'm going to make the surface very bright and then I'm going to take the second one and set it to 0 uh, zero percent. And I'm going to plug that into diffuse. So what I've done by doing this, and I'm just going to kind of feed these out of the way, I'm going to do a, a quick render. And on the skin surface, I've made it one solid RGB value. There's no shape or form to it. It's just flat. And that's kind of like our first layer of color for uh, creating a cell shade look. But we, we really need to get some shadows in there. If we're going to really match, um, say, an anime look, we, we should probably add some shadows and, and some outlines and things like that. So one way that we can go about doing that is to take advantage of a gradient. So I'm just going to keep that. Let's just keep that over here so we can use it as reference. And I'm going to go ahead and, and add uh, a gradient. So add node, gradient. And I'm going to plug in the color. It's going to be all black until we give it some color. So I'm going to make this, let's go and get something kind of like what we had going on before. Something like this. Okay, and uh, actually let's go ahead and make a darker version of that for our shadow. Okay something like this. We'll, we'll play with something like this. Now, I don't want it to be... Now, if I wanted to, there's a lot of different looks. It's a nice little gradient going between the two. I'm going to change the type to step. Uh, and just in case if I add another one, I'm going to change this to step as well. So it's a hard line, and we can see that there. Now, if I render this, uh, I'm not seeing any kind of... Uh, uh, of shadow and highlight going on because my input is set to X coordinate. Now if I set it to incidence, um, you can start to see where we're heading. We're heading where we can get this nice little shadow. See the nose is starting to show up. But I want to control it based on light incidence. So um, I don't have that as an input uh, here. So I'm just going to set up a, a quick little setup that will give me the ability to take advantage of the rotation of the light. So I'm going to start by adding a light info node double click and choose light and then I'm going to go get a spot info node put that over here and then I'm just going to blend these together so I'm going to go over to math scalar uh, let's try add and I'm going to plug the direction in I'm going to plug incident angle and I'm going to plug the result into here and see Okay, and that's looking pretty interesting. Uh, but I want to adjust, I want to actually add some more detail to this. Now, you can decide, in the different cell shaders, there's different zones you can work with. Well, we can work with as many zones as we want just by adding an extra key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a key up here, set that to step, and I'm going to make it black. Okay, and let's see what this is going to look like. So now I'm getting nice black outlines uh, that are kind of thick and thin, which is nice so that they're not a, uh, you know, just a one pixel line. Uh, and that seems to be working um, fairly well. And uh, let's see what happens if we add, it, add this kind of setup to a few of the different surfaces and then um, try a couple other uh, options to see if we can dress this up. But already I'm getting a, a nice little setup. If I want, I can add another key 
and we can go um, we can go a little brighter on that okay and we're just adding another zone to work with uh, and and to tell you the truth I liked it without that zone but as you can see you can add as many zones as you want I'm gonna go ahead and kill that and uh, yeah, I like that. I like the two, I like the two different color zones and then the black outline. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is close this. I like what's going on here. So I'm just going to copy, close this down, go over to the surface editor, and let's go over to the hair and paste. Okay, plug this into luminosity, this into diffuse, this into color and I'm going to just change that to more of the orange color and change this to say a darker orange I'm just gonna swap those and kinda see what this looks like okay and I'm gonna kill I'm, I mean I'm not gonna kill I'm, I like that little spec hit on there it looks very anime and uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave that if I wanted to I could go and remove the specularity but I'm kinda liking that and I think it's gonna be a, a nice touch I'm gonna see if I can get a thicker line going okay I'm liking that I think that looks pretty cool now one thing that I can do which is outside of the node editor I'm gonna go ahead and close this down for a second come over to object properties and under edges I'm gonna turn on silhouette edges unshared edges sharp creases and surface borders so it'll draw a black line for these now I can change the pixel dimension but let's see what it looks like with one. Oh yeah look at the difference this is looking this is looking fun I'm gonna uh, page up to go to the last one okay so this is just with the node editor and then this is with the edges and I like that I'm getting let's zoom in I like that I'm getting a, an outline around the lip line where before I wasn't okay so just kind of toggling back and forth you can start to see it's starting to grab um, edges on things that that I wasn't um, getting before Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do one more surface, and uh, and I think we'll we'll kind of see where we're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, uh, let's do the bow. So I'm gonna paste these settings. Go to luminosity, diffuse, plug the color in, and I'm gonna make this uh, a light blue and make this more of a white maybe tone down that black a little bit and see what that's looking like okay we got that there and actually I'm gonna copy that surface onto uh, some of the other areas so copy and we'll do the dress the dress trim gloves and veil do a render okay and I just need to take that veil and make it double-sided okay so now we have something that looks more like uh, a 2d image if we gave a color background back here it'd probably look even uh, better so that's just a quick look at um, setting up a custom cell shade look in the node editor versus using one of the shaders what I like about this is if I go back to the skin and uh, and go to edit nodes I have full control I can use all the different uh, nodes uh, I can work with those and I can go in and adjust my gradient I got again I can set as many zones as I want I can go in and adjust my zones and I don't have to be restricted by any of the um, restrictions of a of a shader that that somebody else wrote with uh, whatever they had in mind. I can come in here and set up my own setup and get a um, a 2D look uh, right out of the uh, right out of the node editor. And if I you know want to change the thickness of say the black line on the skin and add a little more of the little shadow area, 
all I have to do is adjust keys and if we go here we can see it's thicker here than here and I started growing the shadow some more so you can see on the face so I have full control just by adjusting keys I can go in and set this up so again just a quick setup in the note editor we'll take one last look here uh, this is these two um, constant scalers just um, like going over the surface editor and setting a, a percentage uh, that's what's flattening out the surface and then my gradient um, is what's allowing me to paint the different zones using the information from the light so that, again it's quick setup to get a cell shade type look using the note editor